What is going on, YouTube? Your boy Sam from Team Sam Xman here, and today, guys, I'm coming at you with a brand new Chaos deck profile for the 2019 format. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Chaos has to be one of the most fan favorite decks in Yu-Gi-Oh of all time. This deck brings back so many memories with different cards like Blacklist Soldier, Dark Arm Dragon, just brings back so many fond memories. And today, I decided to actually make a new era version of uh, Chaos. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Deck is actually broken, you know, you can easily OTK your opponent. And if you're actually able to go first, you can easily just create unbreakable boards. And I'll explain you guys all that once I progress to the deck profile. And in the end of the video, I'll showcase you guys some crazy combos you guys can actually do with this deck, especially going second where you can bring out multiple chaos cards during your turn and if you guys want to see more deck profiles like these make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button that'll be absolutely amazing and if you guys want to help support the channel make sure you guys visit tx1.com to get your play mats today and i have the brand new dark magician girl holiday edition play mat so if you guys ever want to get that make sure you guys visit the link in the description box below at tx1.com all right guys start with the monster real quick you want to play of course the brand new triple chaos dragon levianir this card is what makes uh, you know, Chaos brand new again. And the reason why I call this deck the new era of Chaos is because of this card right here. Uh, this card came out with Soul Fusion, and if you don't know his effect, his effect reads that cannot be normal summon or set, must first be special from your hand by banishing three light and or dark monsters from your graveyard. When summoned this way, you can apply this effect based on the attributes of monsters banished for the special summon, and this card cannot attack for the rest of the turn once you activated this effect. So basically, if you banish only light monsters, you get a special one monster from your graveyard in defense position. If you only banish a dark monsters, you get to shuffle one random card from your opponent's hand into the deck. And if you banish a combination of light and dark, you basically get to destroy up to two cards on the field. And the effect does not target. So, you know, any monster that dodge targeting effects uh, does not apply for Chaos Dragon Levianir is because its last effect does not, uh, you know, target. So if you summon this card, you basically activate its effect. Your opponent has no response. You can just destroy up to two cards your opponent controls and his effect doesn't target, which is really powerful. So this card is in here to actually help you break boards going second. And going first, you know, hitting a card on your opponent's hand by banishing dark monsters in your graveyard isn't too bad as well. So you want to get access to this card as quickly as possible. You cannot play a chaos deck without triple black lesser soldier envoy of the beginning. This card is absolutely incredible. You guys don't know what BLS does. You summon this card, attack twice, and you can also banish any problematic monster on your opponent's side of the field. And this card is like one of your main win conditions as well. Same thing with Chaos Dragon Levy and Air. You know, these are just really big boss monsters that are able to actually help push for a ton of damage, uh, you know, versus your opponent. And the last one, not least, for the OG Chaos Monster, obviously the one daddy right here, the one Dark Arm Dragon. Uh, you can actually manipulate your graveyard fairly easily uh, in this deck by, uh, you know, using cards like Fairy Tail Snow to banish, you know, X amount of dark so that way you can control three copies uh, of dark monsters in the grave so you can just summon Dark Arm Dragon, you know, really easily. And Dark Arm Dragon can, is easily searchable off the Eclipse Riven, which is really crazy. And going second, there's a combo where you can easily OTK with Dark Arm Dragon. Next off for your other Chaos Engine is you're gonna play of course, Triple Destrudo, uh, the Lost Dragon Frenzen. This card is really important in the deck because it makes level sevens uh, in your extra deck, which is really important. And there's a level seven monster in the deck that actually helps you make Tomahawk. And this is another body on the board to actually help you uh, make more link plays, which is really cool. Uh, double Eclipse of Iron. Eclipse of Iron, you can easily get access to uh, with Brilliant Fusion. And you can also send this card to the graveyard off Curious as well. So Double Eclipse of Iron. The really good thing about Eclipse of Iron is that it searches your Destrudo, it searches your Dark Arm Dragon, and it also searches your uh, Chaos Dragon Levianir. Throwing off of your Chaos Engine, you want to play, of course, Triple White uh, Dragon Wyvern Buster. These cards are just more extender cards to actually help you make your link plays. And when you link them off, you, they basically get to search their other counterpart, you know, and vice versa. You want to play a Triple Black Dragon as well, uh, which is mandatory to play in the deck. Yeah, so uh, these cards, you know, very standard to play in any Chaos based deck. And then last but not least, guys, I am playing, uh, you know, Supreme King Dark Arm and also the one Supreme King Gate Zero. This engine is really important, guys, especially going first and going second. The reason why this card is in here is because if you can send this card to the graveyard first turn, uh, you can easily make Tomahawk, which is really broken first turn. Uh, so these cards in here gets you access to Tomahawk. For the brand new Chaos engine, you're gonna play, of course, the Predator Plant engine. <laughs> you, you must play the Predator Plant engine in any like graveyard-based decks. Like these cards make Curious and Curious dump cards to the graveyard, you know what I mean? So in any graveyard-reliant deck, you need to play Predator Plant Orphan Scorpio. And it's also a dark, which is really good as well. So Triple Orphan Scorpio, like most of your combos revolve around this card. And you wanna play Triple Lone Fire Blossom. It's a mandatory to play Lone Fire 
uh, you know, in this deck is because you want to turbo out Predator Plant or Scorpio as quickly as possible. And you know what? And you and, and you got to flex on them a little bit, you know? You, you, you And you got to flex on them a little bit, you know, when you're playing your opponent, so it hurts their eyes. You, you got to play, you have to play the CP Lone Fires, guys. You know, CP Lone Fire, very, very beautiful card. Uh, obviously, yeah, so you know that's pretty much uh, so that's your standard plan engine. You want you need to play Orphus Scorpio because Orphus Scorpio helps you get access to Brilliant Fusion, uh, Glow Bulb. And the reason why Glow Bulb is in here is because it's just another free monster you can easily get on the board for your link plays. Uh, the one Garnet for the Brilliant Fusion, uh, also one Fairy Tail Snow. And this deck isn't too focused on Fairy Tail Snow, but you know having multiple copies can be okay. But I just couldn't find space for a second Fairy Tail Snow. But so one Snow is uh, is pretty good. You can always send it to the graveyard fairly easily uh, in this deck with Brilliant Fusion and also uh, with uh, the Curious, which is really good. So one Snow, one Damage Juggler, uh, one Trick Clown. You know obviously this engine is in here for uh, the first turn Curious play with the Brilliant Fusion, uh, Hat Tricker. Really good cards to actually play in the deck. The you know standard engine. So that's pretty much it for the you know the the brilliant package, the brilliant kiosk package. You must play this entire thing. Which Off to our light engine. Obviously, you can't play a chaos deck without playing any life swords. So triple wolf. Uh, you know you want to luck sack wolf as much as you can. So this card is absolutely broken. If you mellow wolf, you're more likely just already going to win the duel. So light sworn wolf, double raiden, and then last but not least, one lumina, the light sworn summoner. Uh, let's go after the spells. Spells are very standard. You're playing a lot of turbo cards. Turbo Brilliant Fusion, obviously. Very nice. Uh, and the new turbo cards, you know, Triple Dragon Ravine. Dragon Ravine with the Strudel uh, gives uh, gives you a first turn Tomahawk, which is really insane. Uh, one Foolish Burial. Send any cards to the graveyard. Double Dragon Shrine. More turbo cards right here. All your spell cards are good because they're all turbo cards, you know. A really good turbo card. Well, potential turbo card. Uh, because you can potentially mill Wolf or Eclipse Wyvern, uh, which is really, really nice. So you want to play a Triple Charger Light Brigade to actually help you mill cards uh, to the graveyard as quickly as possible. Double Solar Recharge. Only two Solar Recharges because you're only playing six Light Swords. And sometimes, you know, opening up, you know, discover with all Light Swords, it's like a complete brick. Uh, which kind of sucks. So uh, only uh, two solar recharges, uh, more of your draw cards to guarantee your draws, double pot of desires. So you're playing a 60 card deck. Desires is just really broken. And then last but not least, the one monster born and uh, the one soul charge, uh, which is absolutely amazing. So the best extenders in the deck, soul charge. Uh, you know, soul charge and chaos dragons, it's just absolutely game. So that's pretty much it for spells. Spells are so good is because they're all turbo spell cards. And last but not least for trap cards, if you're going first, the one Imperial Order, you can easily search Imperial Order with Curious. Just the same similar idea as my uh, my Life Sworn uh, version, where you just send uh, you know Imperial Order to Grievard uh, off uh, Curious, and then you reset it back with Griffin, and you flip this against Striker, and then you automatically just win the duel. So having that built-in win con in the deck against Shy Striker is just absolutely insane. So Imperial Order uh, to round off for uh, your 60 card deck. So after your extra deck, you want Curious Life Sworn Dominion, Heart and Soul of the entire deck, really good. And there are actually plays where you summon Curious. Uh, you dump a card, uh, you know, that you need to see. Um, you know, going second, enter battle phase, crash with Curious, and then Curious add that card that you sent directly from your deck to the grave, which is really cool. Uh, one Minerva, and uh, one number 42, Galaxy Tomahawk. This is the only two XYZ monsters that I am playing in the extra deck. I am missing Abyss Dweller, I am missing Trainer Dragon, I am missing a couple rank four XYZs, but this deck, this deck is just a combo deck, you know what I mean? You summon Chaos Levin in here, Dark Arm Dragon, OTK, 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 going first, you make Griffin, Imperial Order, Fairy Tail Stone in the Graveyard. Uh, you know, turn two, you, you can't break that board with Imperial Order. You just summon Chaos Monsters and just ram your opponent down as quickly as possible. So I believe that you only need to play Turbo cards uh, in your extra deck uh, for this specific version. But if you guys definitely want to cut out certain cards, you guys can go ahead and do so. Boar Sword, uh, Griffin, obviously, uh, Nightmare Unicorn, uh, Phoenix, Cerberus, uh, Reprodocus. Space Insulator, this card is in here, it's really important because Tomahawk is a one card uh, Curious, which is really good. And I'll showcase you guys that in a sec. Uh, Underclock Taker, uh, Link Spider, obviously the Tomahawk package. Uh, your Fusion, Seraphonite for the Brilliant. You just need to resolve uh, Brilliant once and you win the duel. And last but not least, Odd Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon. This card is in here because it makes your Tomahawk. And then last but not least, we're gonna play, of course, the one F8 Dawn Dragster first. Go going first, if your hand is really good, you make Griffin uh, Phoenix with an F8 Dawn Dragster on top of your extra Monza Zone uh, with an Imperial Order set and a Fairy Tail Snow in Graveyard, which is really good. So Dawn Dragster is really good going first. So that's pretty much for the extra deck, guys. Extra deck is just a really combo heavy extra deck. I know that this isn't really, you know, too ordinary for any Chaos variant. 
mid deck. Your Chaos Monster is already big enough. You just want to use uh, the extra deck uh, to combo off, uh, you know, as much as you possibly can. So if you guys definitely aren't comfortable playing something like this, you know, like I said, when you guys watch my deck profiles, just use my deck list as a guide to what you guys can play in your own deck, right? But obviously, you know, I'm playing this because I think it's good and I think that this is all you need. Uh, you know what I mean? If you guys aren't comfortable without playing cards, like Tornado Dragon or Abyss Dweller, you guys can cut some of these cards out. So that's pretty much for the deck, guys. Side deck is all up to the preference, but I'm gonna showcase you guys some crazy combos that you guys can actually do uh, with this deck. All right, guys, so welcome to the combo part of this uh, video, and I'm gonna showcase you guys some crazy things you guys can actually do uh, going second, especially opening up these uh, three cards right here, uh, which is really insane. So if you open up with these three cards, you're pretty much in the lady position. If you open up with Orphis Scorpio and Black Dragon Wyvern Buster, it's pretty good as well. There's a two card combo with this deck. But if you open up with Eclipse Wyvern, it kind of makes it easier for you to actually uh, combo off. And obviously the next three cards going second is gonna be nothing because I'm gonna just gonna use these so three cards solely for my combo. So uh, what you can do for this combo, okay, you can go and you know, these three cards are gonna be completely three random cards, doesn't matter. And I'm gonna use my deck and I shuffle my deck already and it's because we're gonna mill some cards, okay? so. I'll Obviously, we're gonna go Orphan Scorpio, activate Scorpio's effect, send Vibrant to the grave, special and Cobra from the deck. Uh, Cobra's gonna activate, Vibrant's gonna activate, chain link two, chain link one. You're gonna search, uh, obviously, you're gonna banish your Dark Arm Dragon, okay? You're gonna banish Dark Arm Dragon for Eclipse Vibrant, and Cobra is gonna search your Brilliant Fusion. Now, what you're gonna do is that you are going to banish Eclipse Vibrant to special summon Black Dragon Call Serpent, okay? So now, once Eclipse Vibrant is banished, you're gonna add Dark Arm Dragon to your hand. What's gonna happen next is they're gonna activate Brill Infusion, activate Fusion's effect, you're gonna basically dump, you're gonna dump your uh, Eclipse Wyvern. So this is gonna like all Chaos monsters. This is all Chaos, man. This board is gonna be a Chaos board. And Garnet uh, to the graveyard. Obviously Seraphonite, okay. Now what's gonna happen, send these two to the graveyard. Make a Space Insulator. Space Insulator is a Dark Cybers, and these three are all the same attribute but different types. Plant, Dragon, Cybers, you're gonna send these three to the grave. Make your best card, Curious. Once Curious is summoned, you're gonna activate Curious uh, effect. So Curious is gonna be chain link uh, uh, one, and Call Serpent is gonna be chain link two. So Call Serpent is gonna search your White Dragon from your deck to your hand, and Curious is gonna send your Fairy Tail Snow, okay? So one Fairy Tail Snow is sent to the graveyard, you're obviously gonna shuffle your deck, and just mill three cards. It doesn't matter what I mill. Okay, so mill three. So one. Wow, the worst three cards that you can possibly mill. Three spell cards. Okay, so right now you have uh, you have four dark monsters in the graveyard. So what we're gonna do is like you're gonna banish one dark monster uh, from your grave. Just special them in white dragon wyvern buster. Cool. And now what's gonna happen is that since you have exactly three darks in your graveyard, you're gonna special in Dark Arm Dragon. Cool. So the three darks that you obviously have is you know one, two, and three. Those are the three darks that you have exactly in the graveyard. Special in Dark Arm Dragon right here, which is really crazy. Okay, you have three ammo in the grave, uh, which is really cool. Uh, if your opponent has back row, just ammo it out, just destroy cards on the field, uh, which is really nice. Now what's gonna happen is that you're gonna banish seven cards from your graveyard. So uh, one. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're gonna banish the Brilliant Fusion as well because it's still face up on the field. So these are the seven cards you're gonna banish. One Fairy Tail comes out, Eclipse Wyvern, since it was banished, she, he's gonna activate its effect to add back to add back your Chaos Dragon Levianir directly from your uh, banished pile to your hand. So you're gonna add that, okay? So now what's gonna happen next is that you can go for Minerva, active Minerva's effect. Send Fairy Tail to the graveyard. You mill three. Let's see what we mill. I'm gonna shuffle my deck once again. Mill three off Minerva. And it's all like random, man. Mill three, one, two, three. Yo, my luck is so bad. Oh my god. So, mill three. Cool. So, now what you can do is that you have three animals from your graveyard still, which is really good. So, let's say your opponent have any problematic stuff. You just go activate Dark Arm Dragon, pop three cards. Okay, if if you really wanted to, uh, or you can just go banish, uh, banish, banish. Okay, S banish, summon Chaos Dragon Levianir. So before you summon Chaos Dragon Levianir, actually, uh, you know you have to analyze the situation that you're in. If your opponent has back rows, you want to obviously use uh, Dark Arm Dragon's effect to pop all the back rows as quickly as possible, right? Uh, so you want to pop back rows. 
So let's say he has one back row that you're scared, you're worried about, you can just banish the Cobra, uh, you know, pop a back row, and then, you know, if you're scared of another back row, uh, you know, you can just pop, use Dark Arm Dragon's effect. And remember guys, do not use this effect. Today, it just depends on what situation you're in. You know, you have three cards in your opening hand, uh, which also decides on the, the type of play that you're making. But this play right here is already OTK. If you use this card's effect, uh, which sometimes you have to, uh, to pop cards and things like that, uh, this card is going to be unable to attack. Uh, but you a total, to, but a total of this board right here, you have a total up to like five different pops, depending on what cards you mill. Unfortunately, I mill two spells, which is, you know, pretty bad um but you know like what can you do but if you do not use this card's effect you have three thousand the total right here if this actually attack goes through yeah but this is a total of ten thousand two hundred damage on board right here uh which is crazy and remember guys and the reason why the damage is that much is because this card can attack uh so you know like you know that's what you can that's just like you know some standard cool plays you can do with this deck you know utilizing the chaos engine is just really awesome uh so this this is a crazy you know going second board right here with three cards opening hand and let me show you guys on how you can make tomahawk first turn and you can actually easily access curious on your first turn opening hand you have a two card curious which is really insane unlike Orpheus, Orpheus scorpio is also a two card curious as well is because you have to you know send a monster from your hand to the graveyard but you know dragon ravine uh and also supreme king dark worm or the strudel in your opening hand is a two card curious so you go activate the uh, ravine send the uh, dark worm to the graveyard and you're gonna activate dark worms uh, and then you're also gonna dump the strudel to the graveyard okay so you dump the strudel to the grave okay cool off uh, ravine and then you're gonna activate dark worms effect I its effect. Uh, it's you know when a special man search the gate zero. Obviously, this is your hand and this is your grave. You're obviously having four other cards in your hand as well. You can do so many things. Uh, activate the Shudo's effect. Special man itself. This card's level three now. Uh, scale this uh, supreme gate uh, zero. Uh, you're gonna synchro summon these two. This card's gonna go to the bottom of your deck. This card goes to your extra deck. You're gonna make meteor burst dragon. Meteor Dragon activates effect, pop the Supreme King, uh, uh, you know, destroy the uh, activate Meteor Dragon's effect. This card lets you special summon a monster from your scale, which is really good. So you special summon the gate zero, and then you have these two right here for first turn Tomahawk. Okay, because they're both level sevens, detach these two, special summon five tokens. Uh, which was really really good so uh, this is this is just you know obviously a two card tomahawk right here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna link away these two for a space insulator and you're gonna link away one for the link spider okay and you're gonna link link spider and one away cool for our servers and then you're gonna use uh, insulator and one token. Make sure that there's a token under the extra monster zone, okay? Really important. You're gonna use the insulator and the second last token, send these two to the graveyard. Make a Reprodocus right here that points to a token right here, okay? Then you're gonna activate Reprodocus, Reprodocus effect to target to change this monster attribute to Earth. So you have an Earth machine now. This is a wind machine, a wind machine token, but you change this attribute to Earth. So you have three Earths with all different types. Send these three to the grave. Make your first turn curious. Right there. So if you don't have access to Scorpio, okay? And you have access to Dragon Ravine and Supreme King Dark, uh, Supreme King Dark Worm, uh, you know, you basically have a first turn curious uh, without having uh, to use your Brilliant Fusion, which is really crazy. And that's pretty much for the deck profile, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what your thoughts are about this new age chaos deck. And I cannot wait for Needle Fiber to come out because if Needle Fiber comes out for this deck, this deck is gonna be absolutely broken. This is your boy Sam from Team Sam Sam signing out. All right, guys, peace. <laughs> I feel like Usain in the cheetah print Talk fresh game, I don't need a minute R.I.P. the game, shh, I need a minute Okay, let's proceed with it I'm in the house, got to deal with it These bozos always sneak this And they taking shots, I'ma keep with it Like, no, no, this league business